to come in for a quick interview if at all possible and just kind of see your home. <laughs> well, hello! <laughs> Anybody that wants to see my home can see it. Welcome. A little bit lower budget right. just because of COVID and the new normal yes. and stuff. They right. just don't want us. They wanted us to film it by ourselves, yeah. essentially. So it's going to be a little bit um, janky, but you know what? We are going to enjoy it. Oh, this is gorgeous, y'all. Kristen Watson and Patricia Flack. Let me just light this candle for you real quick. Yeah, not a problem. What scent is that? This would be Goji Taraco Orange. And you don't mind if I'm a little bit sick, right? Um, You're wearing a mask, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's, that's fine. That's totally fine. Welcome to our home. This is what we call a Facebook Marketplace find. This couch is from Living Spaces. Tristan has claimed this couch as his own. Yes. Um, do not mind the wine stain. Do not mind the ink stain. Do not mind any other stain. Because this is what you call a lived-in couch. Yes, and that's why it's there. And I'll tell you this. I got it for about $200 on Facebook Marketplace, and the guy had it for about four months. So... Score. Hey y'all, me. Uh, <laughs> okay, so this is my favorite couch. It really is so good. It's so comfortable. And then when people are like here for knitting club, I do try to sit over here, but a lot of people will come to this one as well. It's very good for laying and good for the TV view. He's in it so low to the ground where you can like put your wine glass. Demonstrate. Your, yeah, so like put your glass down like here and still continue to, you know, drink. Or like popcorn right here. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I can let you talk about the art, but this is one of our pieces um, by Patricia F. It is a mid-century modern um, with a touch of um, art deco, like country barn. Of, with also right, um, yes. With a touch influences of, um, of modern influences, but not limited to resources. Yes. Yes. And how many times has this been painted? This has been painted about 400 times, and this is not the only canvas that has been up there. We've had smaller, we've had different prints up there, and we have had this larger one, which is finally kind of fresh. Right. And this one has been here for about a year now, I'd say. Yeah. This one in particular has been painted about three times. Started off blue. And then Tristan told me to do this. I told, I showed Patricia some art that I really liked as just kind of like inspiration and she said she wanted to murder me when she was doing this because that was a new shape. It was a new shape and um, getting the lines perfect on that, yeah, yeah. I really did want to murder you. Now I do want to point out that there are some words on here. There's LA. Oh yeah, smiley face. Oh, this one says G2G. LOL. But when my inspiration came for this painting, it came from the fact that I couldn't afford a real painting. I'm not a painter, but I'll tell you, you what. Never claim, well, you never claimed, well you. And I've never claimed to be, but I'll tell you what. If you want a big painting, you can do it too. I swear. You just have to really work on your craft. Yeah. And kind of stop taking inspo from every other person. So this couch, was a gift from Value Furniture. Value Furniture sent this to us for free. I'm not really sure if they were supposed to, as no one else has, that has reached out to them has gotten a free couch. But nonetheless, it has been amazing for us. Like, like Tristan said, we have knitting here. How many people can this fit? Probably 12. It's very comfortable. We go this way. And like I said, Tristan claimed that spot. I have claimed this spot. Yes. It's pretty comfortable. And you all will notice this is where we film our podcast right here as right. well. This is Little Grits to Glam Little Hub right here. We've had many different, like we used to be over here when there was a gallery wall. Now we're just right here. We're just on down the corner. Yeah, yeah. We kind of got more comfy. Coffee table right here is my pride and joy. Matt and I went up to the Madonna Inn for Valentine's Day one year. Then we went thrifting for him. <laughs> Who came home with something? Me. $25 coffee table from San Luis Obispo. That really is crazy. And I did purchase a glass 
top for it after I realized it was gonna get really dirty. But yeah, this is a great find. Thrift store find, thrift store find. Really good book if you need a good book. Here's some Ward. My friend works for them. And yeah, that's the coffee table. <laughs> and have we ever, well, we've used the fireplace a couple times. We could turn it on. <laughs> no, no, we'll turn it on when we do Christmas. Yeah. This chair right here. Down it's the a street, good chair. Down on the street. It's really comfortable and adds a pop of color to the much needed uncolorful room. This rug is about to completely fall apart, but that's okay. I got it in the state sale. And you know what? It is also lived in. It is what it is. It is what it is. So Dude, these three, this. no, these three, my friend who works for Pearson Ward, when she was moving to Nashville, um, offloaded me a bunch of stuff, including these three things, as well as the curtains in my room and that. This is a gorgeous sweater of me and Patricia. I think I was still visiting at this time. You were. It was like the, one of the last trips I did before I moved here. Correct. And we were by the pier, uh, we were on the pier by the water in like Marina Del Rey yeah. or somewhere like that. It was just a throuple day with me, her and Matt. Yeah. And it was really crazy. Oh, I do want to talk yes, about Yes, I want these. you to talk about these because this is Tristan's little add to the home. So, uh, <laughs> Sorry, I fell. Um. <laughs> so these are our curtains. They are from Target. And it's really important like when you're getting curtains. Like Before I moved in, we had these curtains that looked great. And I was like, okay, perfect. But I think we need something else. So we chose to do large curtain linen kind of vibes. And they're perfect height. It makes the room feel like taller and bigger. And I just think they're really pretty. And when you're wanting to get cozy and stuff in here, it's fun to just like close everything off. And right. Just kind of escape. Because this house is, uh, gets a lot of natural light. It does. And it can get really hot. It can also get really cold at a, you know, you never. Zero can. insulation. Yeah. It's zero to 100 real quick. Mm -hmm. And you can mean that literally by temperature. Yes. So this has been a big debate in our house. Not for me and Patricia, but for our taller guests. Because as you can see, like, I'm almost as tall as it, but a lot of people hit their head on this. And um, it's been a big debate mainly through Matt because yes. Matt, you know, lives basically lives here, <laughs> um, and still doesn't understand that that's there. And he did knock that down, yes. which was my fault. But now I have it zip tied, and he still hits his head. But he did purchase that one because he broke the other one. <laughs> we made him buy us a new one. So this is not the first disco ball that has been here, but I think it's a very important piece in our house because it just kind of brings a little fun element in there. Mm -hmm. And we're fun girls and boys. We like to go out, party, and do everything like that. So we had to bring a little bit over of that to our house. Yes. Um, coming in this room, um, I think this has gone the most transition since we've like lived here, or since I've lived here, besides the living, really no, every place in the house. No, this is not, not just since Sirson's lived here. This has gone from being completely empty to having one table. Um, after me and my roommate, the first roommate I had here, lived in this space, completely empty, no table to sit on until I found one on Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks. Fun fact I wanted to share, then I'm gonna toss it over to Patricia to kind of talk about the rest of this stuff including the story of this table, the mirror, which everyone always asks about. But when I came and visited LA, this rug wasn't here. We had another rug. This is where my love mattress would go. And I love this spot because the ceiling fan is so amazing. It is so freezing. I would wake up in the morning shivering and I'd have my little sound machine. It was just like, this is my little bedroom. The sun would come in I would wake up at about like 6 a.m. because at the time I was working East Coast hours and I would have to take meetings there after getting home at about 4 a.m. So it was definitely a learning curve for me. Don't worry, I've grown up a little bit since then. Now I have a job at different hours, so should be fine. And I have a bedroom and an office, which is barely used, but we have our ups and downs with it. So on to Patricia. Okay, so we're gonna talk about this space for a moment. This I got from Marshalls. I uh, didn't really want to keep it, and now I have all these cords here, so it's here. This I shipped from my parents' house. Yes, as Tristan said, it used to be a gallery wall. I kind of got to the point where I was kind of sick of the gallery wall and wanted it to be a little bit more grown up or mature. And it was getting a little junky, and so I decided, you know what, take it all off and put this up here. You know what, that's great. This I also shipped from my parents' house. This Tom Ford book was the first ever gift, first gift Matt ever gave me for Christmas. We weren't even like officially dating. And it was pretty funny. He left it outside because he didn't know if I was going to get him a gift, but I did give him a gift. So then he <laughs> went outside and grabbed it after I pulled my gift out. This was in Matt's house and he got new side tables so he gave it to us. Which is a bitch to if you ever want to move so it. It's so heavy. You have to do it in all three. You can't do it together. And these chairs are my pride and joy. The girl that lived with my roommate that moved out so I could move in, essentially she moved to New York and put all of her stuff in a storage unit. She then moved back from New York to LA and decided, hmm, I should buy all new furniture and get rid of all this stuff. Well, she gave me these chairs. 
These chairs are about four thousand dollars each. They're the most comfortable chairs. I can't afford five again. So. And they used to be in here, like yeah, over there. Yeah. Which is crazy. I keep a lot of furniture so we can have more and you know. Take away. The yeah. The rug was my parents. They um, got a new rug in their dining room. I was like, I want this rug. If I ever move back, whatever. Then my mom's friend um, said, Oh, it's only a hundred bucks to ship. So yeah, shipped that here. Love it. Adds a little fun little element. This mirror from LA Mirror Man. If you were in uh, Los Angeles, go see him. It's on La Cienega. It's massive and the perfect mirror. Everyone asks about it. Come here, Tristan. Mirror fit. This is where we take all the pictures before going out or returning after a night out. Very big staple to have in any home. Because mm -hmm. when people don't have a mirror in their home, I get upset. Uh huh. It's the best mirror. So this table. <laughs> This table, I, you know, I had another table in here that I decided to plaster. Um, and it was beautiful when it was just done. Then it started to completely fall apart, getting everywhere, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try to like refurbish it, you know, make it pretty again. Well, luckily in that time, I found this table on Facebook Marketplace. It's about 300 bucks, but I know I'll be using it forever. I recruited Tristan and Patrick to come help me get this table. I don't think any of us knew what I was signing us, signing us up for. They did not. Um, it was the worst thing I think we've ever done. It was so heavy. I don't know how it fit in my car. It didn't. But it was a good investment because the last table... We didn't even sit at it. Yeah, we didn't sit in it. And it's like when your skin is peeling, like after a sunburn, it was like that. But it was like plaster and it, it'd be all over the floor. Right, and it was also chalk. Like chalky, I guess, because yeah. of the plaster. I feel like we use this all the time now. I love it. The story of getting it is from a, a young British girly who, I forget her name, starts with a G. Georgie. Georgie. Georgie, if you're watching this, love you to death. Like, I want to be you. But she was moving back across the pond, of course, and she did not let us know how heavy. Did she let us know how heavy the table is? She said you might need to get an extra person to help you. It was the most heavy thing I've ever done in my life. Then the elevator is too small had to go down stairs. That were like over. this thick. <laughs> yeah, and we're having to like pivot the table. Finally got it in there. But then we had the challenge of like getting it to our house, which is down the street. Very happy once this thing made it Thank in Thank God it fit and looks good. And the worst part is, the funniest part is, is when we finally like finished, you know, getting it down the steps and into my car, she goes, wow, I'm very impressed. Even the professional movers could barely get it, get it up to my house. Right. And I'm like, oh, okay. She wanted it gone, clearly. Thank we love it. And it's never moving from this place until I have to move it. <laughs> um, these chairs. I got all four on Facebook pick Marketplace. Pick up the chair, pick up the chair. Oh, Matt's coming in. These chairs, I got all four on Facebook Marketplace for $125 total. Um, not really sure how that happened because usually they're $125 each. I'm now walking in, just here doing a room tour. <laughs> just picked up some dumplings from the A-list. Got my Ame Leon Dore bag. Stop making fun of me, I'm not speaking like that. I'm not making fun of you. I'm making fun of y'all. I also went down to Joe Ann's. Bought a bunch of yarn for knitting club tonight. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking about knitting myself a sweater. What did you have for lunch today? Honestly, nothing. The only thing I've had is Soylent, but I'm really excited to try these dumplings that we just got. I heard that these are so good. I haven't got the chance to try them. Um, first we have the pork soup dumplings, and then we also have the pork shrimp and mushroom dumplings. And we all have, we have the sauces to go with that, by that same brand. Oh, yeah. those sauces though, I've had, and they are incredible. Yeah. And then we also have another pork shrimp and scallop dumplings. Right, so the broth? that's if you want to do a hot pot, but we're just, these are, we can just heat these up. Anyways, but that's what I got. A few more things to show in here. Yes. So these lamps were in the garage, um, our garage, and I don't know whose they are. They were a weird color, so I spray painted them and then kept the marble. Everyone used to say they were ugly, and I was like, no, they aren't. And I brought them in the house and I love them. This I got from the LACC swap meet for 35 bucks. Quite a find. Quite a find. This I found on the side of the road. Um, just don't look too closely and you can see dirt in there. I always thought it was by design, but it turns out it was just I dirty. I probably should never have told Tristan that because no. I'd be scared. <laughs> um, it's fine. Neither of us have gotten sick, right? I don't think so. Okay. I mean, I'm sick currently, so that could be. <laughs> this is a really pretty view right here, seeing the blue. 
Um, will you just let them know this is a rental? Yes, so this is currently a rental. We do not own this house. We decided when I moved in, I painted my walls blue, did some accent walls, like very, very dark blue, almost black. And then Patricia decided to also do that same kind of vibe in here. And it just makes it when you walk in the house more dynamic and not so like, all white and clean, which we love, but we also love color. This is my little office area. I don't get like a ton of use out of it. It sometimes gets a little dark and this little booby light, like booby ceiling titty light is not like the best. So we're looking at a new, getting a new light in here. So that'll be really exciting. This desk is actually Matt's old desk that I bought from him when I was moving here. And got my little work monitor, my little magazines, just like all the little necessities that I need. Wine when he gets stressed at work. When he gets stressed out, you know, we have Jesus turned water into wine, so naturally have that progression in here. Right. Um, and then this is my computer chair that I put together myself, which was actually a hard task. Oh, this is a new piece that's gonna be hanging above my bed. Whatever you see in the room tour, I don't think it'll be this yet, but that's gonna be a new thing that I got at the Melrose Trading Post. And about after a year, I got a frame from Ikea, so. So maybe within the year, he will actually, you know, hang it. This I got at the thrift store, and this I also painted. Just if you wanted to know, and I do want to show y'all, even though Matt's going to be ruining the shot, this is my favorite view. This is the kitchen. We have a nice kitchen, actually. They updated it, I guess, before we moved in. Mm -hmm. There's some cookbooks over here. This plant's been here since before I moved in. Not really sure um, how to make it grow, but it looks fine. I painted this with Tristan's um, easel he gave me. Another subtle flex of mine, I guess. That's black mold up there. Which we've just discovered. That I just discovered. Um, <laughs> that's basically it. We have a nice size kitchen. Back here, we have the laundry room. Don't really care to show you that. And the other best thing that I love is this. Yes, this is Patricia's pride and joy. It is my pride and joy, and it's the cheapest <laughs> thing I've done in this house. It's so pretty. Besides though. the things I got for free. This right here is Kaki, my first roommate here. This is her save the date for her wedding. This is my ba my friend's baby, Paul Michael. Um, these are all pictures of us at Bar Lubitsch, and then some random people I think are on here. We had a ton um, of photo, random photo booth with people in it, so we had to clean it the other day. This is Brooke and her boyfriend, Matt. Young Gravy. Young Gravy. I think they broke up, but we just keep it up here just in case. <laughs> for the memories, in right. case they get back together. This is a really cute photo of me and Tristan. Where was that? That was at Stassi. That was at Delilah. Stassi by Booby Tape. And this is Kiel's, an event that we went to together. Which I look god awful in that picture, but the picture is fun. The picture's fun, yeah. Don't look too closely. All right, that's about it here. Well, this is one of the new additions that we added thanks to our friend Reed, um, who did the cover, or who did all the photos for Grits to Glam. Yeah. So we love that. And this is our wall where everyone, when you come over for the first time, you have to sign it with a quote and your name. So we have our little pin. And I just want y'all to know as well, just to uh, reiterate, this is a mental. Yes, so there's gonna be a lot of painting involved when, um, whenever, right. whenever that happens. This is our really long hallway that everyone's always shocked by. We have beautiful skylights right here, light right here, Woo! picture right here, Woo! Skylar right in here, yes. and light right here. Lord, and yes. This. <laughs> this hallway always is a talking point for people when they come in because they're like, holy crap. They didn't realize the house was so big. And it's not really that big, it's just this hallway so long and it's like a duplex. So mm -hmm. this is where all the magic happens. Right. And I'm out of Patricia's bathrooms. Um, I will say we do have separate bathrooms. I could not live with him if we did it. No, I agree. Mwah. Okay, this is my bedroom. It's, you know, a work in progress. Not really a work in progress. I don't really care to do anything to it anymore. Painted this painting up here. Um, I didn't know you painted that. You did it? No. Oh. These I got on the side of the road and spray painted them. These I are my love books. Those. This I plastered or kind of plastered by myself. This TV, I got really lucky. Matt won a TV on a game show called Let's Make a Deal, and he had just bought this for his bedroom. I was able to secure a brand new TV. My friend Caitlin that worked for Pearson Ward, she also gave me these curtains. They were actually from her bedroom. Growing up, like her childhood bedroom, and they are beautiful. Matt thinks they're ugly. Um, and I would like for you to do a close up, so if anybody would ever need somebody to um, help them hang curtains, I'm a pro. <laughs> <laughs> really, 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 really bad. Also, the, the zip ties don't even. Crookedness and the zip ties. The fact up. that they have been up for two years and have not fallen down is a blessing. And I do want you to show the people your chip clip routine <laughs> to keep for maximum blackout curtain capabilities. Because clearly, I can't close these. No. When I really need a good night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to be your chip clip. Cheek. And it gets very dark in here. It does. It's great. <laughs> Um, my lamps I got from Target. This I got from Target. This is my, my angel bear. 
Shout out C. Frank. This is a weighted blanket that Matt gave me because he was really mad at me anytime he'd come over and was confused why I didn't have a weighted blanket. I'm like, well, baby, I have three. So you could probably just bring me one. This I got at the farmer's market or the flea market four years ago. My bedroom has also changed a lot, but I'm done with this room. It's great. Matt wants to give me bedside tables. I'm like, sure, you can get them for me, but these are fine for me right now. This, I thrifted mainly all of these. And this I brought with me when I first moved here. This is my bathroom, if you wanna see that. It's kinda of small, but it does the job. She does have the fun little vanity lights. Yeah, that's my bathroom. It's your shitter. A shitter. <laughs> uh, people always have to steal toilet paper from my room. Yeah. Cause Tristan, sometimes use paper towels. I never have it. Hang on, I just wanna give y'all a quick, what's it called, disclaimer. You will not be seeing my closet, but just know it looks a lot like this with like 400 times the amount of things just because they are not organized. They were at one point, but they're not. They anymore. were, and I think you can get back there. Yeah. Um, My closet is, Organized-ish right now. I've just received a few things, so there's still bags and I haven't put them up. But we both have good size closets, good size rooms. And these windows. I mean, the mirrors right here. We both have these, which yes. I really love. Yes. Again, have so many mirrors in the home. So this is my bathroom, and then here's my bedroom at the end of the hallway. And it, whoa, <laughs> one second. Um, it will be there in um, a minute. You all get to see that. You can kind of see a preview right here of some of the accent walls I have in here. Hey y'all, it's Tristan. Here's my room, it's kind of dirty. I filmed this at like 4 a.m. so there's no voiceover. Um, shit, there was supposed to be a hat wall over there when you first walk in the room. Anyway, here's the rest of the bedroom. The accent wall's great. That Louis Vuitton piece Patricia gave me and I had the frame from somewhere else and then did curtains and that's another piece Patricia painted me. Um, trying to do like more I don't know this is like my mirror it's like the same setup as Patricia's but just like flipped and my bathroom's not in my room um oh shit we're <laughs> still recording <laughs> okay this is the bathroom it's like very plain and I need to wash that thing but we did some wallpaper on the cabinets to make them a little bit more fun and then did an accent wall there's Marcel the shell of course love that movie um, well thank y'all so much AD for coming in our house we really appreciate your support and you know, we love, you know, any suggestions that y'all have um, to kind of change up our home. And, you know, we love making this house a home. You know, we are girls raised in the South, so, you know, we love making our And you do, I will say, the one comment we always get is that our house feels homey. And I don't know if it's the decor, I don't know if it's us, but welcome to our home. A little bit of and I hope y'all enjoyed our home tour. Bye, MTV. Thanks. Love you. Thanks, <laughs> If you guys like this episode so much, please check out all of the other amazing podcast episodes that they have uploaded on this channel. Comment below on this video, which one is your favorite? Hopefully it's mine. And then while you're at it, go follow Patricia on Instagram. Go follow Tristan on Instagram. Comment on their pictures. Tell them your favorite thing about me. Make it all about me. And uh, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a happy holidays. Much love. It's the Drift